Hello Chosen Ones. I hope you all are having a great and awesome day. I pray you all are having a great and awesome day. I want to give you all this word that to let you all know there is no need to worry because God is always on time. Always on time. So I want to start off with this prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just ask that whoever is under the sound of my voice, Father, that they will hear these words and use these words in their everyday life. And if they do not fully understand it, Father God, they will come to you, Father God. They will seek your face, Father God, on the throne, Father, in the name of Jesus, and get more more understanding of what I am about to say to them. And I thank you for this word, Father God. I thank you for your wisdom, your knowledge and guidance, and your understanding, Father God, that we will know and grow from this word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hello, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Welcome to this channel. You are a chosen one. But what I want to say to you all is that God is always on time. We seem to get weary while we are waiting. But I just want to let you all know that God comes when he get ready to come. Not when we want him to come, but he is always on time. So there is no need to worry there is no need to get impatient about anything because God is not going to let you down at all. He is always going to be there. And I want to read a scripture, some scriptures to you all. The first one is in 1 Peter 5 verse 7. Casting all your care upon him for he cares for you. So we are to cast our care upon the Lord he cares for us meaning that he is not going to let us go without anything you give all your worries all your pain all your anxieties everything to God this is what he want us to do he want us to cast it on him instead of holding it in you into your heart Cast it on God and let him take care of, care of it because he is the only one that can do it. We can't do it. Who else can do it? No one but him. I have another scripture in Romans 12 verse 2. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Meaning that whatever we go through, as far as tribulation or whatever we are to never stop praying I always pray about it be consistent in it do it every day do it a couple times a day talk to God all day because we need him we cannot go through in this world without him everything we have is because of him and he is always on time you may want something right now and you waiting and looking for it and you feel like God has not come through for you. Don't worry about that because God is not going to let you down at all. He is going to come through, but it's, it's on his time. I know some of y'all know and have experienced how God is. When you want something or when you don't have nothing, you might be looking for some money or something, you might not have it, and it just appears. It just appears. It appears because it's from God. God know when you need what you need. Not when we think we need it, but God know when we really need it. And he is going to give it to you when you need it the most. So what we do not have, but we may want, we must don't need it. If we don't have it right then and there, that means we do not need it. We need it when God gives it to us. He is always right on time. I have another scripture in Isaiah 26, verse 3. You keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you, who trusts in you. 
So if we trust in God and we keep our mind stayed on him, he keep us in perfect peace. Perfect peace. And I most definitely understand this because years ago, maybe two years ago, you, you talking about somebody was like going through it. Mm-mm. But when I kept my mind stayed on God and I got in an intimate relationship with God, I'm talking about peace. So peaceful. It is so peaceful. It's so peaceful that I don't want to go without it. Go without it. Go without God's peace. Because you don't have to worry about none of that when you are in the peace with God. You don't. You are in your purpose. You are living your life. No matter what is going on around you. But when you have the peace of God in you and on you. That stuff does not phase you because you already know who your father is and you know you are well taken care of. So just remember that don't worry about anything. Don't worry about the pain. Don't worry about the turmoil, the tribulations. Don't worry about none of it because remember God is always on time. And if you are going through it, that means you can handle it. And it is something greater on the other side that is coming towards you. So don't worry about it. And you all have a blessed and awesome day. And I will talk to you all in the next video. Blessings to you all.